I'm extremely detailed oriented myself. I came into your office, I must say, with a little bit of skepticism initially. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Johnson from Toronto Smile Design Yorkville Dental. I am here with my patient, Dr. Verma. He is a heart surgeon from St. Michael's Hospital, from University of Toronto as well, I guess. And I want him to actually introduce himself because his uh, bio is too long for me to actually read. I'm uh, giving the word to Dr. Verma. Well, listen, uh, thank you for having me and I'm delighted to uh, speak with, with you and your viewers today. I'm Subodh Verma. I'm one of the heart surgeons at St. Michael's Hospital, which is a hospital affiliated with the University of Toronto. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about heart surgery today, <laughs> yeah. and I'm not here to talk about how to protect your heart, but I'm here to explain really my uh, experience and wonderful experience that I had with, with you and your team over the last several months in uh, reconstructing my teeth yeah. and reconstructing my smile. Thank you. It's so uh, certainly put a smile on my face, but it's put a smile on my wife's face, which I think <laughs> is actually much more important as you can appreciate. But thank you. Thank you so much. Thank here. you so much for doing that. Actually, it's yeah. it is really important for actually our patients to hear what patients experience because we can tell all the things that they want to hear, but it's e better for them to hear from you and especially from you as a healthcare provider, as a like super experienced, highly talented uh, healthcare provider, a professor in, in medicine. That's why I created some like questions because I have a huge respect and I'm really like right now I'm shaking. It's so hard for me to actually give, make this interview. What were the primary concerns while you were actually at, looking for a cosmetic dentist right uh, so first of all you don't need to shake because uh, <laughs> you know I think you you know you've done I know that you don't shake because you've worked on my teeth for several months yeah. and uh, so I, I think that what I would say first and foremost is um, you know um, I was I, I'm delighted to volunteer to speak with you today you exactly. you were so professional and kind yeah. that throughout the process you never one, once asked me whether I would actually be willing to review you <laughs> or review your, uh, your program here. It was until we were done that I actually said I would be happy to speak on camera or actually give you a, a favorable sort of a Thanks comment or review. <laughs> um, so what I was, uh, you know, I, I, I was struggling all throughout my, my life with sort of a, uh, I think, unequal height of my teeth, unequal smile of my teeth not the right color and uh, you know uh, I did some orthotic orthodontic work in the past uh, uh, I think most of it unfortunately was patchwork right trying to not get to the root of the issue uh, it was more let's deal with one tooth or one pathway at a time and I was really in in search for sort of a comprehensive cutting edge and uh, you know thorough uh, you know, uh, uh, sort of intervention, if I may, something that would instill confidence in me that this would actually be a new surface, a new, new, a new smile, and, and really address all of the issues in its totality. Um, and I came into your office, I must say, with a little bit of skepticism initially, because I wanted to, uh, I wanted, I, I've, I've been sort of visiting a lot of different places and websites, and all I would hear were you know, busy rooms and busy dentists uh, where, uh, you know, you don't feel like you're the center of attention and you don't feel as if you are uh, getting a very thoughtful and careful and comprehensive sort of assessment of what the problem and the root of the problem is. Now, being a heart surgeon, I'm picky, as you can <laughs> imagine, yeah. and I'm extremely detailed oriented myself, right? Uh, for us, every quarter of a millimeter counts, and the approach to detail is what I'm looking for. Of course, I want a final product that is natural. I want a fi final product that doesn't make me look uh, as if I've got a bunch of white teeth so that I actually smile and people say, oh, you look like you just went to a cosmetic dentist and you actually look, uh, in fact, quite ridiculous. Uh, you know. Um, so I, I, I was looking for sort of a natural, uh, you know, uh, look, and I was looking a lot for sort of precision, if I may. And uh, the first time I walked into your office, uh, 
you know, the fact is uh, I felt as if this entire office staff was here only for me. And I asked you, I said, where are the other patients? And it was clear to me that you had blocked off a certain amount of time for the entire office staff to spend with me. And that your attention was focused, your attention was not on answering phone calls or running from one room to the other. And we went through this very comprehensive process of, uh, that I, I can't even describe to your viewers, of multiple cameras from multiple angles, trying to simulate and emulate where we could go and trying to interrogate where the problems really were, right? And then coming up with a uh, sort of a, 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 an expectation of what, what, what I would like to see. And uh, I walked away from that experience uh, really very confident. I was not, at that point, I had not decided that I was going to go with sort of a treatment plan because at that point in time, you were not, you had not developed a treatment plan. You were just collecting all of the information, synthesizing that information into, uh, you know, really uh, sort of uh, accurate, uh, you know, dimensions and, and, and careful assessments of uh, the length of each tooth, the color, uh, what is, you know, Dr. Verma's preferences, etc. Um, so I was quite impressed with that initial thoroughness um, to detail. And subsequent to that, when I arrived for my second appointment, what was equally impressive was that that was not just a one-off experience. When I came in the second time, you and your entire staff uh, made me feel as if you know, this was my office, that everybody was focused on me, and that there was a thorough treatment plan. And there was a very, uh, there were various options provided in terms of uh, the cost, the benefit, the timeline, what to expect, and uh, what could it look like. So, you know, being able to see the process develop and unfold uh, prior to embarking on that journey is really quite instructive and instills confidence. They're calling about that test drive experience, the right? The test drive yeah, experience. Yeah, test drive experience. In yeah. Toronto Smile Design, what we do is, again, like Dr. Verma explained, I can't explain it better than him actually, like a, I am the one who is doing that, but perfect explanation for make sure you have patient, doctor's mouth here. But the thing that we do is we take pictures and videos of each patient, impressions of each patient. And after that, we design the treatment for a week. We design it 2D first in the computer. And after that, my, my lab team and me get, get, get all the information together in 3D. And after that, we design everything in 3D. And we make the patient function on that 3D design on the computer before even we propose anything to the patient because if we give any treatment plan doctor to you and if it's destined to fail it is meaningless it's just like a goodwill of our like good faith like let's say but we design everything first and after that we use 3d printers to uh, print that design and transfer it to the patient's mouth so that you can actually as a patient see the final outcome as precise as it can be mm -hmm. uh, in, in the screen so that you can make your decision yeah, whether I, I, it's I, good I, for you or not. I, I agree with you. I, I think uh, just recognizing the fact that, you know, you first had, you could, you could sort of, the, you could take the test drive initially, you know, with, with the pictures and the video, right? But that's not the real test drive, right? That's, yeah. the real test drive is what you offer before the actual product goes in, and that is yeah. the 3D models can be worn uh, and you can really then come back back and forth as you're learning about that new model refine it uh, improve upon it in consultation and then when you and your cosmetic dentist yourself are happy then you actually say I think we should go with it and then also the process of, of uh, uh, the process of incorporating all of those teeth in uh, is something that can be refined throughout that journey until you get to the point exactly. that you're absolutely happy. And for me, uh, 
uh, as a busy professional, as many of your, your, your customers or many of your uh, patients are, uh, you know, uh, being expeditious on a timeline is quite important, right? Yeah. And, you know, I think from, from start to finish, and I know you made some special exceptions for me <laughs> for which I'm very grateful <laughs> time-wise, but, uh, you know, um, uh, I, I, I think it took us maybe six weeks to yeah. two months maybe. Um, maybe less than maybe less than the maybe. reason is yeah. like they, I don't want to actually get misunderstood yeah. Dr. Verma's issue was slightly functional too yeah. he had worn out dentition right like because of his, all the medical uh, medical treatment like, yeah. uh, tra training and everything he was grinding too much we changed oh that's right yeah, yeah yeah you had to that's change the bite exactly yeah. we changed the bite too we found the perfect ideal temporomandibular joint location for Dr. Verma to actually be stable in that location and don't break any tooth in the uh, in future. Not I'm not talking about the porcelain actually restorations. I'm talking about his actual tooth. I don't want him to actually harm himself during the procedure or uh, after the procedure uh, by just biting in a wrong area, wrong spot, or something like that. And temporomandibular joint pain as well. That's why that's why it took uh, actually slightly longer, longer than is usual. Yeah, and I know I, I appreciate that. So yeah. I, I think overall I, I would say that. You know, what does a heart surgeon want? A heart mm -hmm. surgeon wants perfection, and we try to be perfect. We want perfect professionals. We want professional individuals. We want really cutting-edge technology. Uh, we want uh, to feel as if we are the focus and we have the attention of the professional. We want people to be responsive when there's a problem. I know that even during, you know, uh, when we were wearing, when I was wearing the test drive, you know, mm -hmm. because they're temporaries, mm -hmm. and because, as you said, I have a problem of uh, clenching. On a couple of occasions at night, I actually broke the temporary, yeah. and uh, <laughs> I had to text you uh, at late at night, and you said, "Well, come first thing in the morning, and I'll fix it." So you know, it's not just customer service, but it's attention to uh, being responsive to people's needs throughout that journey. So. I would say um, I'm very grateful Thank and I'm so very much. thankful to your, uh, for your wonderful team and professionalism Thank you. and uh, I would strongly recommend your uh, program as long as you're the one in charge <laughs> and uh, not one of your associates or anybody like that. If yes. it's you doing the work, then I, I would strongly uh, endorse and recommend uh, you and your group to all of your potential clients who are interested in uh, improving their smile and, uh, you know, improving their quality of life. Thank you so much, Dr. Verma. It, it, it has been an honor oh. for me to actually treat you mm -hmm. and be with you in the same room for actually hours and like whenever we take a break, having conversations with you, it was a pleasure. It was my Thank pleasure. Thank you so much. Pleasure to come here. And all the best to you and your wonderful Thank team. You. Thank, Thank you, you so much.